She's a former Judge George W. Bush White House staffer and veteran of two GOP presidential campaigns and CNN political analyst John Avalance of Green. Thank we you like very you much. Green. You're laughing at me. Did I say something wrong in the intro? What did I say? Uh, judge, judge, Ju judge, 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 I corrected it. You did. I corrected you it. it to George. Mock me not, no. Uvalon. <laughs> so, uh, it is good to see you on many fronts. Yes. One of them, maybe, that this liked yeah. candidate, you know, in likability, what we call plus minus very often. Right. We have not, not two choices and not where they're not only under. <laughs> so, that I was mean, a triple negative. It got it was a triple negative. I get right. a little, I get a little right. wacky sometimes in St. Patrick. Anything else when it comes to politics? Yeah, except in the twilight zone, which is 2016. <laughs> I mean, I mean, this is a year where no, people don't, people just want, especially on the Republican side, we've seen this in the Republican primary, <laughs> you know, what, Donald Trump is reflecting the anger. We hear it over and over and over again. It's not about who you're going to get a beer with. It's who is from, who's going to be outside, who's going to change the system, who's going to represent the people. Right, but what about on the Democrat side? How is it if is winning well, what, what's key right here now? is not her general favorability, unfavorability numbers, Chris, so much as who they are unfavorable with and which constituencies they need to win in the general election. Hillary Clinton has to put together the Obama coalition that we discussed, and the key in that are the millennials who are going way for Bernie Sanders, mm -hmm. women and minorities. All right? Now, even though she is not having, demonstrating as much enthusiasm in the primary with those groups of people, nobody could probably turn out enthusiasm in the general as much as Donald Trump. I mean, Donald Trump, in terms of people disliking him and coming out to vote for Hillary because they dislike Donald Trump, his mm. upside down numbers with African Americans, 76% unfavorable. Hold, let's Hold. take another step in the numbers so you can give me some context on this. With Hillary Clinton, uh, the suggestion is that the likability may be closely tied to long familiarity uh, with, with uh, neutral and negative situations uh -huh. and honesty. Look at honesty, top candidate quality. If it is honesty for you, Sam not his core asset is authenticity. You know husband was called the natural. Uh, and Cruz, who would be their natural candidate, they voted for Donald Trump, the thrice married, the four times bankruptcy, the guy who's encouraging his, uh, his constituents at the rallies to slug each other and, and find the guy with the tomato and beat him up. You know, is, clearly doesn't share our values, but that's what's so incongruent, discon incongruous about this election cycle. It's not so about the guy So what happens then when you have these in a general election, if that's what happens? It's we're, we're, whoever is liked least <laughs> is the one that wins. <laughs> ...negative campaign, because all the energy isn't going to be, is going to be to stop the other person. That is a double negative campaign. Any hope after what your husband <laughs> just spat at me for the last I mean, 25 seconds? What's, what's extraordinary, oh. just, just to give you a proof point for what he just said. I mean, one of, you know who they like least? Less? Donald Trump. Do I mean, we know that for a fact ABC, in the general? ABC, Washington Post poll, even as recently as a couple. You know, I know what I've said about John, but now it is John or Margaret. I have to make a choice. Well, Sometimes it, people it, change. It, it, it can, and look, I mean, look, clearly both campaigns, particularly, you know, Hillary Clinton's got a, got a record to run on that she's, it's tough for her to run. Thank you very much. John Avalon, Margaret Hoover, thank you very much, as always. Allison. Okay.